Hi, this is Jake from LifelinePetSupplies.com. Today we're going to cover hooking up a uh, bubbler cup or bubble humidifier uh, to an oxygen concentrator if you want to use that as a source of humidity. Um, pretty simple to do. First thing you're going to do is unpackage it. You're going to see a tube like this with a threaded end goes into the top of the bubbler cup and you're going to see a cup like that. Uh, I'm going to fill this thing up with water and be back here in just a second. So before I filled it up with water, I thought I would just show you real quick that the black top unscrews from the cup here and you've got two lines, a minimum and maximum. You want to use distilled water in the cup so it prevents any lime or calcium buildup uh, that can affect uh, the operation of the bubbler cup. And I'm going to fill this up here and be back, or at least put some water above the minimum line, be back in here just a second to show you how to hook it up to your concentrator. Okay, so I'm back and I've got that filled to the maximum line there uh, with distilled water. And the next thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and put this back together. Uh, screw the lid uh, top back on there pretty snug. Once you've got that snugged up, what you want to do is thread this uh, into the top, that short connector. And it just threads in until this goes snug. And then we're going to be ready to hook it up to the concentrator. Okay, so here we are at the oxygen concentrator, and most of them will have some form of lip, whether it be on the front. Uh, some concentrators actually have a piece in the front that allows you to hook the bubbler cup in here. This is an Everflow QOPI, and it's got a little spot back here with a strap that you actually can just attach uh, that'll hold the bubbler cup. And this end, once we've threaded that onto the bubbler cup, is actually going to go to the output of the concentrator. So I'm going to disconnect the standard oxygen line and hook this into there. Be back here in just a sec. Okay, so one important thing to note is make sure your concentrator is turned off before you try to do this. And the little short tube that you're seeing running from the humidifier is going to hook into the output of your oxygen concentrator. Make sure you push that on there snugly. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like, and you can already see it starting to put some pressure into the bubble. Basically what this is going to do, as the pressure output comes from the concentrator, it's going to run up the tube, down in through the bubbler cup, and bubble the water, therefore evaporating, humidifying it. Then it's going to come back out, this little side nozzle right here. That is where you want to hook your uh, standard oxygen tubing that came with the Nebulizer and O2 pack, that runs connected to the incubator. So I've now got that pushed on firmly. You want to make sure your oxygen tubing uh, is running into your oxygen adapter uh, for your incubator. And we are going to turn this thing on. You begin to see it bubble here. Means everything's working. We should be at about three to four liters a minute. We recommend three liters a minute for puppies here, uh, for newborns. We'll turn it on just a little bit. And what that's going to do is humidify, basically humidify the air as it goes in. Runs through the bubbler cup, picks it up, this humid air rises to the top, feeds it down in through the oxygen line and into the incubator. So it'll actually begin to raise the humidity level inside the incubator. You'll be able to see that once you've got your small hygrometer mounted to the back of here. Uh, the range we recommend for newborn puppies is... 50% for a target. Um, what I tell people is puppies are comfortable where we're comfortable at. So between 40 and 60% is acceptable, and we shoot for a target of 50. Uh, you're going to begin to uh, see the levels rise. It can take a little while to fill up the incubator with humidity. So, you know, I usually tell people give it at least an hour or two to start to see some change. Uh, it has that whole area to humidify and fill up. And uh, you can already see it's starting to come up a little bit here. It's already come from about uh, 26.2 or 3 up to about 27 and hopefully that'll get up into the nominal range if that still isn't enough you also can use a uh, use the mounted cup holder inside the unit there in the back that little square box that you see back there folds down holds a small cup of water with a sponge or a rag uh, most areas will be able to maintain the humidity with this method if not um, then you may need to purchase the digital humidity system thank you